Okay, okay. Happy weekend, YouTube family. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm in the Nike Vomero 14s, doing three miles easy right now. I'll talk about what I'm gonna do after this in a minute, but basically just trying to give these shoes a second chance because the last two times I've worn the Vomero 14s, they've made my feet hurt on the bottom. So I'm just trying to figure that out. Anyways, uh, three miles easy right now. And then we're gonna talk about the uh, running shoe backlog giveaways and just the overall growth and uh, incredibleness, is that a word, of all of you. All right. It's the weekend. It's the weekend. Do, 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 do. It's the weekend. It's the weekend. Do, 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 do. Da, do, do. Bada, bada. Do, 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 do. Happy weekend, YouTube family. Do, 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 do. Da, de, de, de. da, 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 da. Da, da. There we go, YouTube family. Okay, three miles, 5K, uh, let's see, nine minutes a mile. Uh, I don't, let's see, per kilometer, probably like six, six flat, 630 per kilometer. Nice and easy, just chilling out. And guess what? Good news, no pain in my feet in the Nike Vomero 14s today. That is fascinating. The last time I wore these shoes, yeah, I had some pretty bad pain after I was done running. Actually, no, during the run and then a little bit after. It just was like tight and tender, uh, especially on my left foot. And so anyway, now they get a second shot. The Vomero 14s get a second shot. I will try them again next week and just see how the feet are reacting to that midsole. So, all right, I wanna talk here in a little bit about the backlog of running shoes. You're probably wondering, uh, Seth, what are you doing with all of these running shoes? Like, how are you managing all of them and testing all of them? And uh, basically, I have an idea. I have an idea for uh, continuing to test them out for you, but also to give back to the YouTube family. Because frankly, the reason I can get these shoes is because of you, and I'll explain more about that here in a minute. But first, I'm off to the rec center to, yes, I'm gonna do some laps. I'm a little conscientious, conscientious about uh, taking nice running shoes out into the snow and the slush and the grime and the salt from the snow plows. I just don't love doing that, especially if the shoes have a shot at being a racer in 2019. So whether I'm racing 10Ks on the roads, half marathons, the marathon, uh, so therefore, I'm gonna go into the rec center, test out again the Skechers Razor 3. First time ever, I'm gonna try out the On Cloud Flash, the Saucony Fast Twitch 8, that's right, a vlog fan uh, from the East Coast sent me this shoe, thank you so much, I have not forgotten about it, I just haven't really but I've taken it out once I haven't had a chance to put more miles into it because again I just don't want to put it through the snow and then yes of course continue the testing behind between the carbon rocket from Hoka and the Nike Vaporfly 4% Flyknit uh, I think after today and then probably one more uh, test next week I'll be able to give you my full comparison and thoughts. I'll feel comfortable enough to be able to give you my full thoughts between the shoes. All right, so stay tuned. I've got some thoughts about how we can continue to work together here on the interwebs. There we go, there we go. Nice little testing happening in there. I just really love 
when I'm trying on all these different shoes for you, I love going back to back to back to back. And again, it's like when you when you it's like going to a running shoe store. That's why you try on all the different shoes because your feet. And again, I know I always say, but it's that muscle memory. You immediately are like, okay, this upper is way different than this upper. This outsole is way different than that outsole. Um, so anyway, that was nice. That was fun. I've never done that inside a rec center before. And again, I did that because it's snowy out. All right, time for dinner. A little vino on a Friday night, you know, relax a little bit. And then we'll go chit chat about everything in the studio. Oh, man. It's like a potato type soup. I'm very excited. Uh, did I already say this? Keyword is give. Keyword is give. I'm not sure if you could hear me in the rec center. We're gonna talk about that here in a minute. Out in the studio. Oh, a little vino. <laughs> a little uh, cheap vino on a Friday night. Someday, someday, I'll be able to afford some nicer wine. You know, but you gotta pinch pennies in your younger years, if you know what I mean. Unless I guess you're a doctor or a, or a lawyer. I don't know. You, you tell me, YouTube. You tell me, YouTube. All right. Let's see here. Here's all my vitamins and minerals up here. I do like to take vitamins and minerals. Um, turmeric helps with uh, inflammation. And so we'll talk about this at some point. Turmeric. There she is. <laughs> Aren't you, love? Hi, Hi. Happy weekend. I was just tell them about the soup, how excited oh, I am for really it. Oh, it's really good. Potatoes, potatoes. And it's my first time making it. What's it called? Zupa Toscana. It's like from Olive Garden. Okay. Zupa Toscana copycat or something. Oh, but perfect. it's really good. And a shout out to Angie. Angie says uh, we need to do some good cooking recipes for runners. Oh. So, Angie, brilliant. Like that's a, brilliant. Like a, a running cooking show. Oh, that's good. I think we'll do it. That's a really good idea. All right, let's, let's hunt. You want to pull it out yep. here? Uh -huh. da, da, da. Oh, there it is. Let's see if you oh, It's got my, my. spicy sausage, oh. bacon, tomatoes, <laughs> potatoes. Oh, potatoes, butter my Spinach. bread, butter my bread. I've told this story before and I'll probably tell it again. Two years ago, I was doing shoes that this. you're only gonna wear for, I can go through a pair, usually in about two to three months. So we don't have that kind of money right now. So I went on Craigslist, let go, let's go, let go. Let go, another app like Craigslist. And then I actually found these for the first time I used Facebook Marketplace. That's so, right, these were. I could not afford to buy new running shoes, brand new from a store in 2017 and i'm not ashamed of that i'm not afraid to tell you that this was the reality of our financial situation as a family fast forward to 2019 and this is happening okay and so i just i tell you that story about the struggles to buy new running shoes just to show like hard work and persistence pays off hard work and persistence as a human being on this earth, it pays off, ladies and gentlemen. Whether you're pursuing a career, whether you're pursuing uh, the love of your life, whether you're pursuing an athletic endeavor like running, hard work and persistence pays off. And so this is happening now. I'm buying new running shoes. I'm trying to think like, yeah, here's my old, here's some Skechers. I bought these, but guess what? All of these shoes that you're looking at right here, nah. These showed up at my front door from vlog fans like you. And now, and now, in 2019, as we rapidly approach three years, that's right, April 11th, 2019 will be the three year mark. So mark your calendars, we're gonna have to throw a party or do something of daily uploading to this channel. And I will never forget the humble beginnings of this YouTube channel and frankly, how challenging it has been, especially that first, oh, a long time, but even that first like six to nine months, like you just question yourself a lot on YouTube when you upload a video and you're like, oh, this video got 26 views. Nice. But you have to be excited because listen, there's 26 people out there that care, care about what you're saying. But now, 
as I hit publish every day for you, it just blows me away. It's very humbling to see the hundreds and yes, the thousands of people that care about watching these daily vlogs that focus now so much on running every single day. Again, going back to the story of not being able to afford running shoes two years ago, 2017, and now this is happening. All right, all right? And therefore, I have decided that when this channel hits 10,000 subscribers, I want to give back to you. When will that happen? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It could be in two months. It could be in two weeks. I don't know. We will see. We'll just keep working hard. We'll just keep working hard. But here's what's going to happen. I want to basically, if you are subscribed to this channel, you can get your name entered into the hat and I want to I want to buy purchase just like all of you are purchasing running shoes for me and sending them to me uh, for me to review for you. I want to give back to you. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to buy running shoes for you for a guy and a lady. All right. A guy and a lady. So that's two pairs of shoes. And then I also want to help some high schoolers out there who truly, truly, and this is where I'll just have to, uh, we'll have to go back and forth on email and probably a phone call. But if you are a high schooler who is genuinely can't afford running shoes, because guess what? That's a reality in life, right? And that's not fun. That is not fun to be working hard, to have good work ethic, and like you want to do your best in track this upcoming spring track season, but you can't afford like a good pair of track spikes or a good pair of trainers. Like you're wearing shoes that have 800 miles on them and you're starting to feel some, some pains and some niggles, if you know what I mean. So I also want to buy a pair of running shoes for a lady and a guy in high school who genuinely, genuinely can't afford new shoes. Okay, that's the game plan. And I want to give back to you in gratitude for you being here and just helping push this channel forward and upward, onward and upward, as I like to say. All right. And that brings us to the question of the day. And I don't think apologize if I've already asked this, but if I have, it's been a while. So there's a lot of new subscribers that maybe have never heard this question of the day, but here it is. How often do you really need to buy new running shoes? Like where to the point where your legs are starting to say, Hey, if you don't get new running shoes, I'm going to get a, a stress fracture next week. Like your legs are barking at you. So what, how many miles or kilometers is like your max for running shoes? Okay. Or that's part one or part two. Do you know someone and don't write their name? Okay. Don't write their name, but do you know someone think about it that genuinely needs help buying running shoes? If that's the case, keep them in mind and don't put their name down below. Just keep them in mind because guess what? Maybe down the line, I will be able to help them. All right. But I uh, just putting that out there. Okay. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Don't forget your humble roots. Don't forget where you've, where you've been, where you are now and where you want to be in the future. Cause uh, frankly, I think we're just getting started. I think we are just getting started. Hmm. Seek beauty, work hard, work hard, work hard. I mean it, I mean it. And love each other. I mean that too. See you tomorrow. Mm. Mm.